Hi guys, it's Lucy and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would explain my degree to people who don't necessarily want to do my degree, they don't understand my degree, all of that sort of stuff. So basically, people are often confused by my degree if you don't know I do paramedic science because it is not your average degree. We do placement, we do more days in uni, we, we do, like, it's completely different. So I thought I'd explain it in this video and maybe give a better understanding to people that don't understand what paramedic science is and what the degree entails. So yeah, let's get straight on with the video. So like I've already mentioned, we do placement. Um, so basically I, all unis are slightly different in the way they deliver the degree, but I do a couple of months at uni, a couple of months on placement, a couple of months at uni, and it kind of alternates like that. Um, so placement is basically any kind of form of experience we get outside of the university setting. So it is mainly on an ambulance, but it can be within a hospital setting, a care home setting, stuff like that, that basically gives us a wider knowledge, a wider understanding of life outside of university, I guess, and life in the job that we want to do in the future. Uh, people don't often understand what placement is, and that's basically what placement is, so I have just done about 16 weeks out on an ambulance, and that is classed as placement. And we have to sign off on certain things to say we are competent in doing those things, we have to do a certain amount of hours, um, it's quite stressful and it's quite full on, but it's enjoyable. Um, a lot of the time, um, all paramedics say it, say it, all students say it, once you're out on the road, once you're on placement, you don't want to go back into the classroom setting and you have to. Um, and it's something you have to work with, something you have to understand why you do it. And yeah, it's not something to get upset about. You're going to be back out on placement soon enough. So yeah, you just got to deal with it and work with it. So... When I am in uni, it is split up between practical and lectures. Yes, I do do lectures, and I don't know if that always comes across. Um, but yeah, I do do lectures, and so we basically do the theory behind what we're then going to learn in a skills lab. And the skills lab is basically when we do practical and do what we've learnt in theory and put it into a practical setting. So trying to think now um we might this is like the simplistic stuff um we might learn the theory behind why we do a 12 lead ecg which is looking at the heart and then we will then go and put it into practice and learn how to do an ecg and read an ecg and stuff like that um so yeah theory is very important lectures are very important and yeah just like pretty much all uni courses my lecturers are specialised in the degree they teach obviously um majority of lecturers are paramedics uh, they've done something within the pre-hospital setting done something in the hospital setting but they then bring their knowledge back into the classroom and teach us and it's a great way of learning my degree varies slightly to the ambulance service so the ambulance service do their own student program which i decided not to do um so I don't know too much about it but their students train up and then they go out on the road with another crew member however when we're uni students like myself we go out with two crew members and we're like a third man um that's just how the uni system works and so basically we're a third crew and a lot of the time one of the th crew members steps back so you can take over their role in a way and that's just how it works i'm kind of glad i went through the uni route for that experience so I've got the support of two people. This is where it confuses a lot of people and I'm not sure if all unis are the same. Um, paramedic science is a very full on degree and a lot of science degrees, medical degrees, stuff like that are very full on. This means we have to spend more time in uni, um, on placement, stuff like that. So for my summer holidays, I got officially three weeks, but it ended up only being 10 days. Um, whereas most uni students get three months off at summer and that is a massive difference between my course and other courses and people can't always get their head around that. Um, 
I would love three months holiday but I'm quite happy with the three weeks I got and I feel like with three months you kind of get to a point where you don't know what to do with the rest of your holiday whereas with my three weeks slash ten days um, I managed to fill it up and do stuff I wanted to do and I didn't get bored so I kind of see it as a positive in a way and some people won't see it as a positive but it, at the same time you are paying nine grand a year nine thousand two hundred fifty pounds um to be at uni yeah i don't mind it would like a longer holiday but it's not necessarily a problem just to round up this video of course i am a january student um so september students their holidays are kind of different stuff kind of varies between september and january students so i'm only talking about january and doesn't necessarily apply to September student paramedics not that it varied massively but there is a slight change so yeah I hope that's given you a slight insight into a student paramedic at university um yeah <laughs> um and I will see you in a video very very soon bye guys